Hey, what's up guys? It's Sarian Polish and welcome to episode 7 of Hybridicious. Uh, so this week I went out and I made a hybrid around one of my favorite players in real life, uh, Shakiri. Uh, he currently plays on Basel, but next year he is moving to Bayern and I'm pretty excited. Uh, he's most likely going to be taking Robin's spot and, you know, there has been some difficulties, but that's irrelevant. Uh, this team was, you know, it was fairly fun to play with. It was a bit more expensive than usual. Uh, you know, usually I have the cheaper teams, but there are, uh, you know, cheaper alternatives in positions. For example, you don't have to get Win. Uh, you could get Opara, who is just as good. Uh, you know, you don't have to get the informed peace check. You get the upgraded or, you know, any other right back in the Bundesliga. Uh, so there are some variations. You know, this is what I decided to do. Uh, so it was a fun team to play with, and as you guys can see, the uh, Swiss center attacking mid is only on 7 chemistry because I did not convert him. Uh, he's not really, you know, that great. I didn't really feel he was worth converting, um, so I kept him on 7 chemistry, but if you were to convert him to a center mid, um, everyone would be on 9 chemistry, of course. Uh, so let's start off with uh, some player descriptions. Uh, so we'll start off with Dirty Ock. He is, you know, he's a really good player. He's fairly tall, uh, fast, strong, really good finisher, and he's got the poaching trait. Uh, so he's basically another Mario Gomez. Um, yeah, he was a fun player to play with, and I definitely recommend him because he's only 15k, and, you know, he plays just as good as, you know, any version of Mario Gomez I've tried. So uh, I definitely recommend picking him up. Uh, then we'll move on to Shakiri, who's kind of like the man of the team. Um... Really fun player, you know, everything I expected, you know, he pretty much accomplished. Uh, he's really short, so he's really agile and really quick. Uh, he's got really good dribbling stats, and he's actually a solid uh, finisher. I didn't have any problems with this finishing. Uh, nothing I could really say about him, like, you know, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, really good player. And he's probably my favorite player on the team, so I definitely recommend him. Uh, he does come as a left middle, so you might have to convert him if you want to play in this position. But, you know, I definitely recommend, uh, you know, more of an attacking formation, like a 4-3-2-1 where he could cut in and shoot uh, as opposed to maybe like a midfielder. Uh, and then we'll move on to the other side. And I was tempted to use some other options like Sam, um, but one of my friends recommended Inform Herman, and he's a great player. Uh, he's fairly cheap as far as Inform Silvers go. Uh, he's a really fun player. Unfortunately, he has only three star skill moves, but you know that did not stop me. Uh, I still scored, you know, some decent goals. Usually, I was just using the step overs, but uh, he's really agile. You know, really good uh, dribbling, and he's got 96 curve. And for those people that don't know, um, part of your finesse shot is affected by your curve. So you know, the greater the curve, the more your shot's going to finesse. Uh, so almost every finesse shot I took with him, you know, was going in. And he's also got really good uh, free kick stats. He's got 86 accuracy and 96 curve, like I said. So really good at free kicks. And then we will move on to the midfield. So I put Gotz on the right. You know, I had many options. Any Bundesliga midfielder. Um, I went with Gotz because he has four star skill moves. And he's kind of like a complete midfielder. Uh, you know, he could pass. He could shoot. He can dribble. Um, just great overall player. But, you know, I'm sure everyone knows who Gotz is. And then we'll move on to the left side. I had Kimento. A uh, Swiss player plays in the MLS on Vancouver. Uh, he too has a uh, four-star skill move, so that was actually pretty fun. Uh, unfortunately, I found him to be very average. So when I did play with my midfielders and I pushed up, I usually used Gotze. Um, so that's why I kind of kept him as a center attacking mid. I didn't convert him. I uh, didn't really feel he was worth it. And then in the middle, we had Tustin Frings. And I know a lot of people are turned off by his 36 pace, but he's a great player. Uh, very technical, uh, you know, good passer, good shooter, and he's also really good at defense. And honestly, like, I cannot tell the difference with this 36 pace. Great player. And finally, we'll finish off with the upgraded Volshed. Uh, 75 overall, but he's got, like, 87 tackling, um, 85 marking, and 91 ball control. I don't understand how that works, but, you know, great stats for a center back. And he's also 6'4", so if you guys are interested in full player descriptions, check out the description and I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for next week when I upload my next episode. So thank you for watching.